All right, everybody, we are back, and today we are going to be talking about a social topic. So what I have done is found something of interest for Tub to talk about, Tub and I to talk about, but he doesn't know what it is just yet. Now, since I'm on Twitter, you've probably seen me a time or two. I'm sure they have. How could they know, not right? have seen like, you on Twitter? Yeah, I'm on Twitter here and there, you know, talking talking it up with other people. And uh, w- what we like to call Liberty Twitter, which is just basically this collection of people who are in, in the liberty space. Maybe they're libertarians. Maybe they're libertarian leaning and they're more Republican, what have you. But we call it Liberty Twitter. And they were all in a big fuss about something recently which doesn't happen very often right no no not at all not at all no we're all we usually hold hands kumbaya and all that good stuff so let me go let me start by showing you i'm gonna i need to give a little bit of background before that we before we can talk about this particular topic i think it's gonna be kind of fun and it's relevant to to tub as a candidate here in jacksonville Okay, so here's what happened. I'm going to show a couple screenshots on the um, uh, on the screen. I'm going to read them out loud for anybody that's listening via audio. And I want to point out one thing. As a rule of thumb, I generally try to keep people's names out of the uh, limelight here because I don't want it to. I, I want to, I don't want it to distract, right? But in this particular case, I'll be talking about three individuals that are both relatively well known, at least on Twitter, that have great huge followings. So it's not a big deal, and we're not actually trashing them anyway. We're just kind of giving a little bit of background. And maybe even so, I can't trash them at all. I mean, if you uh, is that what you're saying? If that you we cannot up, trash them at all. If you end up trashing them, I mean, I guess that you know it is what it is, right? Because you've already covered that. I don't know what we got going on here, and I'm not on Twitter either, right? So this is two things coming at me from something I don't understand, right? Right. So here's the first thing that we've got. So this comes from a guy named I think his name is Tho Bishop. I don't know if that's his actual name or not. You don't think that's what his mama named he's, him? He's here in Florida, and he's. Uh, he, I believe he's a Republican, so he's not a Libertarian like party member, but I believe that he has a lot of Libertarian leanings. He might okay. even identify as a Libertarian. I don't know a whole lot about him. Okay. So here's what he said. He, he made this tweet and he said, take back the architecture, get rid of the bums. Again, unleash the cops to clear the streets of bums and vagrants. Where will they go? Who cares? Hopefully they will disappear. Now, let me let me tell you, this is a conversation on what do we do about the homeless, right? And and this this stirred up a huge controversy in the libertarian. Was community. he the start of the controversy? Was it this that set I, it off, or is I, he just kind of in the middle? I think of it? he set it off. Okay. I think if I got the, if I've got my facts correct. All right. Because what happens is once the ball starts go- rolling on Twitter, sometimes it becomes very quick. Uh, it, it's very difficult to tell where it originated from necessarily. Okay. All right. Um, and sometimes you miss a lot because there's just so much going on. Okay. Right? Uh, but I think I got enough here that we can actually talk about. Okay. It. So then, in uh, following that, Dave Smith, and he is a he is a libertarian. Right. He's a libertarian party member. He's yep. also a comedian and a podcaster, a very notable podcaster. Okay. So he retweeted. He retweeted a guy, and so this is getting a little deep here. But he retweeted another guy who was talking about Tho Bishop's comment. Okay. Okay. And his original tweet. He cited, I, I believe this is Rothbard. Okay. okay. Rothbard in the white text here, or the, the text with the white background. Okay. And it says in number four, it says, take back the streets, crush criminals. And by this, I mean, of course, not white collar criminals or inside traders, but violent street criminals, robbers, muggers, rapists, murderers, cops must be unleashed and allowed to administer instant, instant punishment. That's That's the line that really got people going. Subject, of course, to liability when they are in error. So he retweeted well, that. He threw some junk out, like, oh, well, oh, real quick, let so, me clean this up a so, little bit. So, so what this gentleman is doing is he's saying, look, Rothbard ha- agrees. Now, a lot of people, a lot of people in the libertarian community, really do uh, appreciate and they they value the writings of Rothbard, mm-hmm. along with Mises and some other right. people. Okay, so he points out and he said this came from Rothbard. OK, so this is, you know, and, and what, what we're doing is we're saying, like, this is an idea that was put forward by a libertarian thought leader okay. at one point. And so then Dave comes along, Dave Smith comes along and he says, I've never understood what was what was all, at all controversial about this one. He makes it clear that he is talking about violent criminals and insists that the cops be held liable when in error. What's unlibertarian about that? So what's but going on here? It's jumped. So the, the topic jumped. It, it well, jumped. a little bit. No, not a I lot. Mean, I mean, that's because that's, it went from get the homeless out 
to it jumped over to okay no they're right get let the cops do what they got to do but they changed who the people are right. that they're going at so, so there's an overlap here in, in the conversation if you were to like watch all the different twitter there's comments the difference okay there, there becomes an overlap because what ends up happening is people start pointing out that like some of the homeless are like drug users and stuff like that so a large part of the conversation became okay there are public parks mm -hmm. and Many of the public parks have vagrants and homeless yeah, people yeah. that are doing more than just sleeping there. Right. Right. There, there's there's activities going on that make it unsafe for my child to go. And so the question became like, well, what do we do about this? How do we deal? And so it kind of became this catch all word, like, what do we do about the hobos? What do we do about the homeless? Which was which really became more of a catch all for what do we do about people that are in a park mm -hmm. that are are in some way making it unsuitable for me to go there and utilize it in the way that it was designed. Okay. Right? Now, like maybe I take my kids there, but right, I don't want them right, to step so over needles. Before, right. Be, hold on. Hold on. Before we go into where they were, mm -hmm. look, I'm going to already travel down to another direction. So the problem is, is that when we look at it that way, mm -hmm. so what happens when, okay, like there's a park right down the street from my house, a right. city park, and um, they have a pavilion there and people can rent it out and have birthday parties, stuff like that, whatever they want to do. So what happens then in that same thinking is they're in there doing something that prevents me from enjoying the park also. Correct. Okay. So what happens when they're there and they're, I don't cuss, I don't do those type of things. What happens if they're cussing and they're playing music that I don't right. like? Aren't they then in turn? So should the cops be able to then to come in and remove and, them the and, same way? And that if I'm sitting there reading of, my Bible and they're offended by my Bible, does it keep them? And, where, where's and, it and stop? that that kind of became part of the argument, right? Okay. All right? You had two. You basically had two sides. You had one side that said, "Okay, first of all, it is a public facility, which mm -hmm. means even if you're homeless, you have a right, right to, to be there." It. Yep. Right, and and, and and so because they have that right, you, Pastor Tubb or me, don't have the right to ask the police to go make them leave right. so that you're a child. Because effectively what you're doing is you're saying, I have more of a right to then be here than you do. do. Mm -hmm. Right. And then you had another group that said, look, I've already been robbed to pay for this. Right. And. Or this, about taxes. Yep. Taxes. Okay. My taxes have already went to pay for this. Okay. If we're talking about a park, like a public park. Yeah. Public park is not a like there was at no point was it designated for you to shoot up, okay. right? Not not you, but you know I'm somebody, a person I, I to shoot up. But okay, right. And so therefore, if somebody is there shooting up or they're they're using it in some way mm -hmm. that is not even at all in a resemblance of what it was supposed to be used for, then they're making it so that other people can't necessarily come and use it themselves. Right. So I think there is a distinction. Nobody really, I don't, I, I, I might've missed it because there was a lot of tweets going uh -huh. Yeah. So maybe somebody, maybe Dave or somebody else made it more clear. So if, if, if I did miss it, please bear in mind. I just, I just missed okay, it. So our, but I don't think anybody really specifically said, here's how we identify which things should be permissible and which slope. things it are is, not. It, like, right. Maybe again, maybe it was made. So my question, the reason I bring this up, okay, because you're running for city council. I am indeed. And in Jacksonville does have a homeless problem. We do. And we have a lot of city parks. And um <laughs> I made an interesting post at one point. Oh, 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 are we gonna get some of your stuff on here now? Oh, we too? can. We can put something of mine on here. All right. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and shrink us a little bit here. Oh, people so would can... love to be doing that. <laughs> yes. Yes. Can we just shrink them yes. out of existence? Yes, let's shrink us out of existence. Okay, so there we are. Now we're, we're much smaller on the screen. Okay. So let me put this up here. There we go. So Spike Cohen at nope, one point weighed out. in. No, 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 right? no, no. You bring up Spike, we're out. We're but, done. But here's 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 what I said. What'd you say about my mama? I gotta go way back. I gotta okay. I gotta find my my original my original comment here. Right, is that it so, right there? Okay. Um great ideas, but with the that one? No, that's not the one that I said. Let me see here. We're gonna have to go through Dude, these are all yours on the same yes, topic. These are no, not on the same topic. Oh okay. um, actually I need to go back, was it? I think it was back. And let's see here. What you a lot now? going on. Look, I'll find out a lot about your life just by saying Yes, it, like, I know, right? You can like, like, wow. Like, I feel like I didn't get invited to that dinner. So, um, yeah, I, you know what? Now, this is, I'm going to have to really edit this part out because I can't find it. So, you sure you have something on there? Actually, I, I think that this stuff needs to stay. This is this is a look into your life right here. Right. No, this I'll find stuff it. stuff that we don't all... I promise. I'm like, here we I'm are. not on Twitter. Here we oh, are. Here we go. All right. So... Here's what I said. Hold I on. Do you see how big that is? And you couldn't find that through your feet? Look how big it is. It's a huge, different color, everything right, about right. it. You're like, oh, I don't right. know where it is. So I said, final answer, Liberty Twitter. 
I'm oh, the oh, LP. Oh, you're closing it down. This is you saying I'm, we're I'm, done. We're this done is this. Oh, okay. Bringing this, bringing this some closure. Did so you? final answer, Liberty Twitter. I'm the LP affiliate chair here in Jacksonville. We have a homeless problem and three candidates running for local city council. What's the winning answer to win over non-libertarians and get our candidates elected? And then I posted this picture here where it says, as Jacksonville homeless camp grows, city hopes to gain more funding, shelters forced to reduce bed capacity due to COVID-19, right. social distancing rules. And this was posted on January 19th of this year. So it's, it's a little bit on the old side in terms of months, but- It, it still applies. The, the homeless problem is not any different than right. it was in January. Okay. And so then, uh, uh, so then somebody had po posted about, uh, they, they posted that Spike had made some comments. Okay. So Spike made a, quite a few comments because he said, Hey, the subject in of this thread or right. just other ones. Reading right. Them? Okay. So he said the subject of homelessness apparently came up yesterday on Twitter. And I figured this is as good as any time as any to talk about some libertarian solutions to homeless, homelessness, uh, to homeless off the top of my head. And so I'm just going to kind of briefly go through them. Okay. You can look up Spike, uh, but when he says end the war on drugs um, end or relaxed uh, zoning regulations, stop fee based vehicle and property registration um, end or greatly reduce occupational licensing end the VA um, end cash bail end bans on feeding the poor, stop subsidizing shelters and uh, get rid of regulations that ban or make um, it, ex, uh, prohibitively expensive to uh, engage in co-ops in different communities. Okay. And then uh, last, uh, no, last two, homestead, unused government-owned land, okay. and reduce the cost for records to be expunged for, like, say, felons and whatnot. Okay. And so my comment on this... And Did you know, Spike, you're almost right? Because that would have been the best response. So, well, Spike, you are almost right on this. So one. one of the things that I pointed out to people is I said... Uh, I said, how many of these are local things that, that can be done locally? Right. And I said, I see one of them. Number six. Number six was number seven, possibly depending on where the shelters are getting their funding. OK, but the rest of them are going to be are, are going to require some involvement at the state or maybe even the federal level. Right. To accomplish. OK. And so when I say number six and seven, what we're talking about here is we're talking about ending the ban on feeding the poor. That, that's a big so, one. So that's, that's, actually, that's a real issue here. in town. Right. Yep. And then stop subsidizing shelters. But again, that depends on where their money's actually coming from. So if they're getting federal grants or state grants, then so, that's not a local thing that you can do as a candidate. Right, but, all, but also if you stop subsidizing them, isn't that going to lead to a bigger problem with them being on the streets as opposed to being in a shelter? Well, I mean, that's what we're here to talk about, right? Okay. So right. what I want to know, because you're a candidate for city council, right. and this is something that's going on in our, right. in our hood. So what I want to know is... Um, Two things. First and foremost, where do you stand on this issue of um, should we use the police or should we not use the police? And should we look for what you might call a strictly libertarian solution? OK, so let's this might be the one that leads to my divorce. This might be it. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. You know, keep your keep your problems inside your home. Don't extend it to okay. Because you know, I can my, hit the mic while we're no, 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 no. It's too okay. late now. We're already in because you know my wife runs a very small kind of one person led ministry to the homeless. Mm -hmm. Um, in fact, she does great work through it, and she, and she does she gets helpers every now and then. But she's doing great things. So you're not just on social media running your mouth about the solutions, or your family isn't. No. Wow. No, we're actually a, maybe going to that help get is an amazing. Wow. Do okay. About it. I don't mean to be snarky at so, people, no, but, but no, it's sometimes you're better I do, to actually. be in action than to just sit around yes. and yell at people. Absolutely. Okay. So, so here's what I'm telling you: homelessness is an issue that I see truly firsthand. Right. And I'm not saying this as in I drive past a corner and the guy standing there wants a dollar from me. I'm talking about like right. I go out there with her. These people know me. Uh, one of them texts me. One of them others have, but one just this week there. Like like I know the homeless right. are out there. Now the, the first thing I think that we have to clear up is we have to get rid of stereotypes and generalizations. Okay. Okay. Um, many, if not most, of all of them that I ever encountered down there, there's no drugs involved at all. Okay. Not at all. Um, some of them truly just have bad life situations. There are some who work. There, there's a couple of them that we talk to down there. Every day they end up being downtown at some point because here's what they have. Uh, one guy specifically has a pretty decent job. You know what his problem is? He can't get enough to get situated to go get an apartment. Okay. Like he can't get the right documentation. He can't, and, and, he, and then he can't get the right amount of down payment because that's all going, rents are all going right. crazy. Right. And so the, these things are really happening. Okay. Um, there's some families down there. There's a, a gentleman downtown right now who uh, he's out there with his daughter, like three-year-old daughter. 
Right. And, and they're just, you know, they're trying to get by. So the first thing we have to do is we have to get rid of the stigma of there are these horrible people who just made like they're terrible people, drugs. That's not true. Okay. So we have to get rid of that first. Now, are there, is there a level of, yes, they're down there and yes, they're just getting drunk or getting hot? Yes. Okay. Now, here's where sometimes my wife and I differ on opinion. Okay. Um, a homeless person cannot own the sidewalk. Okay. You, 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 I'm sorry. You don't get to do that. You don't do get to bust into people's private property. Okay. And, and that's a big issue right now because there's different lots and some of them are owned by people who aren't in town. Okay. So the people in town, the owners don't know what's happening on their lots. Okay. Which runs a big risk okay. for you know insurance purposes. Somebody gets hurt stuff along those lines. So you have that. So I often say, hey, um, they, somebody does need to come through and get them off the sidewalk. Who's that somebody? Unfortunately, police? it might be police. Okay. Because they're the ones who right now have that authority. Okay. Because if I were to just walk down the street as tub right. and get out of the sidewalk, they don't have to listen to me. Right. So there has right. to be a level of authority okay. that says, y'all got to go, y- right. you got to get out of here. So I think we're good with the private property, right? When you've got an owner of some property and. Um, now, okay, now. Because the owner can say, hey, I don't I'm not in town. I'm going to ask the police or some to go other through, yes, and clear to go that through out and for clear them. that out. And I think most libertarians would probably agree okay. and say, hey, it's your private property. It gets contentious but, when we come to like a public sidewalk. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So like I said, the sidewalk to me, there, there there's actually, there's uh, every day, every day, basically I, I drive past this lady. Uh, she's right out there and she, she lives in the easeway mm-hmm. between the sidewalk and the street. Right. Okay. And she, uh, when I tell you she lives, she lives there. Right. Okay. She has a couple tents. She has all the like. She is. She's there. Right. Okay. And, and I'm like, you can't just do that. Like, like right. I understand you got things going on, but you can't just do that. So the issue becomes, okay, they're there. What do we do? Okay. Now, I I've often liked the idea. There are some locations even downtown here that aren't being used by anybody. Okay. Why can't? And and and, and we can. This is going to turn to a long conversation. It's not going to be the short one. Sure. So okay. So why can't we not? If it's a matter of why don't we get some funding? I always like private funding myself, but right. if the government says, okay, listen, we're going to buy this in order that we can get the homeless are hanging out in parks and stuff like that. Um, because technically most parks here in town, they'll tell you at sundown, you got to be out. Okay. So technically then they're trespassing. So okay. if they're staying there sleeping, they're breaking the law. Okay. So you can't just stay. The law is the law. The law right? is the law. But, but you understand what I'm saying? Is there's always that. To, that right. When people go, well, just let them sleep there. Well, technically I can't be there after dark. So right. why should they be allowed to be there after right. dark? It has to apply to all of us. Right. So if we can get that property, we kind of say, here you go. We, my wife and I, we've had lengthy conversations about this. Like, okay, how do we get that property to get them? Okay. Y'all are safe here. This can be your place. The problem is there's a lot of insurance and and just the issues that can come out of that, that people get hurt. People get killed. It's up along those lines. Who covers that? There's a liability issue Mm -hmm. inside of just saying, here's a property. Best of luck to you. Okay. Okay. So there's not this easy fix of, well, Put them in a camp. Right. I do like what he was saying. Is that isn't there a way that we can purchase something? We can get some government-owned land and say, right. okay, guys, here you go. Now, can we make them sign a waiver? It says, hey, listen, if you stay here, you're here at your own risk. Like, we, right. you, you know what I'm saying? We don't protect you. You don't, if you get, because, I don't, I see, it's a fine line. Because you don't want to say, hey, listen, if you get shot, it's okay. No, it's not okay. No, I should right. be allowed to not get shot wherever I go unless right. I'm trespassing. But you can't hold me liable. Right. Like, you right. can't come after me. You can't come after the right. government if this like, happens like to we're, you. We're letting you know that we're, we're giving you the space. Mm-hmm. We're going to leave you alone. and But we're also not responsible for your safety. That's still on you. It's on you. Which wouldn't really be that different if they just stayed at a park against our will anyway. Right. Because they're still there, not getting any kind of security. Mm-hmm. And they're taking their own risk that maybe some other person might come along and harm them in some way. Right. Right. And they can't come after us and say, hey, well, you should have protected me because we would have, we would be like, well, you weren't supposed to be there. there. Right. So I, I, I like the, it, it is a big issue here in town. Okay. And, and the problem is, is that we tend to think of downtown stuff. It's, it's, it's clearly across town. Right. It's an issue that's growing. And, and so I guess we come into this area of if they're in, a, in an area where they're not harming anybody. Right. Okay. Because I can tell you another area, it's just as you get ready to exit here out of Jacksonville, you head into Orange Park. We've noticed it now that the leaves have started falling some. Right. Um, they got like this three story, like tree house built up. Right. And you drop right, like that's le- like that's legit. Like they, they put some stuff into it. Here's right. the thing is ultimately, they're not bothering anybody. Like they're right. just, they're not. Now they got there on the corner, we can have that argument, but they're not bothering anybody by staying there. Right. And, and so I'm like, okay, well, if they can do that and they can have their kind of, I don't see what's wrong with that. Right. Uh, now, once again, 
property is owned, usually always owned by somebody. Right. So then whoever owns that property has the right at any time to go, no, what the heck are y'all doing? Right. Get out of here. Then comes, okay, then where do they go? So do we just keep housing them? Do we, like, do we just, because here's what I found. It, if you just give people something, they don't appreciate it. Mm -hmm. There has, people tend to do better when they work for something. Right. You know what I'm saying? They appreciate it more. They take care of it better, stuff along those lines. If we just keep, in fact, not too long ago, they had a big campaign here where money was given and they were taking people off the street and they were bringing them to these hotels and these other shelters, stuff like that. But guess what? While they were there, they didn't, unfortunately, there was no follow through. There wasn't, right. okay, now we got you off of here to help you find a job, stuff like that. That did not happen. Right. We got you off of here. Okay, the money's out now. Mm -hmm. And they push back out again. And, and so it becomes these temporary fixes that ultimately never get anything established and nothing right. fixed. So the question becomes, how do you fix that? Like, where do you move them to? And, and unfortunately, I don't have a great answer for that. Like, okay. I, I don't have, I have ideas, but the problem is like with many ideas, everybody goes, well, you can't do this because. Right. You, there's always that that's going yeah, to, somebody, and, they're, and they're valid though. They're somebody, not, yeah, well, somebody always, that's the interesting thing about, who was I talking to the other day? I was talking to somebody the other day about that very thing. And I said, if it might have been you, I don't remember. I somebody people forget but, about but I was basically, with me, it's possible. I was basically saying, like, okay, we're in this particular situation. This is the environment that we're in, and we're proposing this idea, and everybody's gonna shoot it down. But if we were in this other environment and we were proposing the ideas that we are currently now okay. living in, right? So let's just say you've got scenario A. Scenario A is looking at items one, two, and three. Okay. But and somebody might say, well, items one, two, and three won't work because this and this and this and this. Mm -hmm. Okay. But then let's say we go to scenario B. We're in scenario B, which is one, two, and three. Okay. Right? They're you follow in me? it. Right. So now okay. now it's not one, two, and three imagined. It's we're, we're in scenario B. Which one, two, three, I'm touching. It's happening. Right. Uh -huh. And so now, but we're like, man, we don't like one, two, and three. So we're looking and we're saying, what if we did four, five, and six, which would have been scenario A, right? Right. Okay. Somebody will go, well, that won't work because. Because. And, right? And, and like, I never liked that. It doesn't like matter idea, where you are, what idea, you know, I, somebody I will like always I do it around open. the church. I'm like, try it. Right. If it doesn't work, go back to where you were and then keep moving forward. Right. Like, like we have this thing that says we do nothing then. Right. So we, do, we don't try anything yeah. because you don't think this is going to yeah. work. Now, listen. Yeah. I'm pastoring a church. Deal with this all the time. Right. Look at how the church has always done it. Okay. But right. that doesn't mean we can't. It doesn't mean these changes right. can't happen. Right. So I think that we have to be willing to take some of these ideas and keep moving them forward. Now, I think that we have to be cautious with what got mentioned through your Twitter mess there. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Those about how, oh, what if they're at the park? And I'm like, okay, well, wait a minute. Those people can be offended right. by this. Right. So I, I, I don't think we can do that. You offend me. Right. Line of, oh, I want to be in my park, but this guy's over here sleeping on the bench. Okay, you know what? How many times have you gone to the park and you've seen just people who have homes and stuff? They're laid out right. in the park and they're sleeping. Right. What's right. the difference at that point? Right. You know what I'm saying? Just that one has nicer clothes on, basically. Right. So I, I think that we have to look at this and I'm open. Like right. I'm open to the idea of there are there there's property around. Right. That's not being used. Right. We have some right downtown. Yeah. There's an old motel used to be downtown. It got torn down. And, and now the basic structure of their garage is still there. And it's wide open. Right. So, and I'm like, okay, so wait a minute. So here's the thing. If you tell them, hey, guys, you can't stay in this park. You got to go over to there. Right. Let them go. Yeah. Like, let, but you know what's happening? Every now and then two or three will get out there and the cops will come by. Y'all got to get out of here. Not that they're doing anything. I don't even right. think they're harming anybody. Right. They found a place that's a shelter that they can kind of get into. Right. And, and they do it. Now, the shelters here in town, many of them say, hey, listen, especially if you're a man, during the day, you got to go. Yep. Yep. You, you don't. You come back when it's late. Yep. And, and they could do something They don't similar. let you come and stay when you're drunk. You don't say, I hate those people. Um, but there's Not that no, I have experience. No, 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 you've never heard anything sleeping like in a that. Homeless like, shelter. Y'all got to go, dude. Um, that, that never happened. You just kind of roll it around. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> but, but the idea is you could do something like this even with these other locations. Right. Say, hey, guys, listen, during the day, you got to get out. You got to scatter. You can't just lay around here right. for whatever reason. You know, if you're looking for a reason to say, hey, we can't do this. But then if they find this place to come back to, here's what I'm learning. There is a code of ethics among the homeless. As crazy as that sounds. Right. They have a certain level of law. Like, don't mess our stuff. Every, every, every community, group, every community of people has one. You yep. go to jail, there is this... Um, there is a dynamic that you have to learn. Yes. And if you step out of bounds, you will pay for it. Listen, 
right now. Sometimes um, substantially. Substantially, yeah. So that's more than you. I wasn't in for all that. Um, but the idea is like right now you'll see it. Like my wife goes down there and she has these ones. And, and there's one in particular, really nice kid. Uh, he works whenever he can. You're like he's not just like laying around. He doesn't. He doesn't drink. He doesn't do any like okay. he doesn't. He doesn't do any of those type of things. So he'll help her when she's down there, hand stuff out. And if people come up, some new ones come up, new ones right. come up, and they start getting mouthy or something, they're very clear. No, no, get out of here. Like they will run them off. It's like a level of this right. isn't what we do. You're not going to mess this up for all right. of us. And then they'll kind of oh sorry, you, you know. And, and they have this understanding. Like you don't mess with each other's stuff. They tend not to mess with each other's stuff. Okay. Like that's my don't you know. Okay. Uh, most of the time. Okay. Like there are times that people say, oh, I don't care, I'm going to take it anyway. But as a gotcha. whole, this is kind of what they do. So I, I think that maybe, may, you know what? We're handling this all wrong. We're handling the, this whole conversation. We've handled all wrong now that it hits me. I am a huge advocate of go talk to the people in the problem. Right. Why, why are we not dragging right. in six homeless people in right. different situations of why they're homeless to say, guys, right? what are you dealing with? What would help? What makes, why are we not going to, we're, we're talking about the problem. We're not talking to the people in the problem. Right. Who would give us the best thing? I don't know what, I have never slept on the street. Never. Right. Okay. So I don't know right. what that's like. So why am I trying to find a solution for a, a situation I don't understand at all? Right. Why do we not drag six homeless people in? Right. Of different stages. So they all have different stories. Right. Say, okay, let's talk. Yeah. What, what would, what would help or work for you guys in your situation? Right. So looking for, I'm looking, looking for, for another something. comment that I made okay. that I think was, um, that I thought was useful. And I'm trying to see if I can find it. I said, if you're complaining about the homeless, but have not lifted or are not attempting to lift a finger to personally assist them, then the problem can be found in any one of the mirrors in your house. Yep. Right. That's what I said. Now, as far as, um, uh, one of the one of the one person made a lot of waves by suggesting, well, since we we are libertarians, we don't use the police for you know for forcefully like this, unless okay. it's like maybe a violent, actually violent crime, mm -hmm. we might. And even then, I think there might be some libertarians who are like, look, I don't call the police because they're a state. You know, they're part of this entity that shouldn't even exist. Like I couldn't so tell you, I can't tell you if I'm, 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 I'm not really. Yeah, so I'm yeah. not really. I'm not, I'm not really of that uh, that that flavor, if you will. Um, but one of the things I pointed out, and I tweeted this as well, um, it just so happened that last night I took my son to a, a, a local, like it's called My Gym. Okay. And you pay membership. Mm -hmm. it's, it's fairly expensive. Oh. And, <laughs> okay. uh, and, 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 I, and, I, and I say that mean comparative to just going to the park. I don't mm -hmm. mean like, oh, I'm so rich and wealthy. I just mean like it can be cost prohibitive. Okay. Right. Because it's not like you pay a dollar every time you might want to go. Okay. Right. It's, it, you know, it's, it's a little bit more than that. But um, one person had made the comment like, hey, you know what? The proper libertarian answer would be just to not go to these parks and to go to a private park and then to keep talking about privatization. And right. this is going to lead into my next convert, my next question for you. Okay. So I made this comment. And I said, well, and I, and I posted a picture of my son at this gym, right? I see and I it. Said, yeah, right yeah, there. There he yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, and I said, when other parents ask about the libertarian solution to needles and vagabonds in their park, I will probably, I will proudly show the true libertarian answer. And like just this picture of my son, right? And then I said, sure. It has a cost they may be unable to afford, but don't be poor. Free market and principles. Am I right? And then I followed it up by saying, yes, we're, we are here, so I was actually there at the time, uh -huh. and no, it's not really my attitude. I said, but as I watch my son play, I wonder how the just go to a private park comes across to those not in a position to actually do so. And that the matter of uh, parks affects non-libertarians. It's wise to remember this while we preach privatization. So in, in, in the, what I'm getting at, and the reason for this podcast mm -hmm. is I, I feel like one of the things that we do is we have a lot of our answers in our community are very tone deaf. They may be good answers when you're arguing with your libertarian friends. I don't think they would necessarily work when you get out and you talk out to real circle. people. Mm -hmm. Because I could only imagine, I've met people, if I said, just go to a private park, they would be like, seriously, dude? Like, really, that's your answer? Like, like you do understand I'm barely eating. Like, you I'm having money. trouble making uh -huh. ends meet. And you're telling me that the money that was taken from me for this, for this park, park 
that I don't now feel I comfortable give it taking to... my child to because maybe there are syringes or whatever, what have maybe there are right. people that are creating a hostile environment for my child, you know, or maybe there's just too many bums. Maybe there's so many right. that my kid can't like even you, play you anyway. Yeah, you're just gonna walk right? over. <laughs> and you're telling me that the solution, that your libertarian solution is just to go to run away to, and to, to, to run away mm -hmm. and go do something else. And so this is part of the reason why this whole debate on using the police and you know, and, so, it, and it becomes difficult because I just said, what if there's too many bums sleeping there, right? Right. They're doing nothing but sleeping. Well, that's not a harm. No, right. Not but they anybody. may be. There may be so many that our children can't. That's play. not conducive to an area that's friendly for kids. Right. Right. And okay. and that because that's where part of the problem becomes. It. So, so it sounds like you. So so that my next question was. Okay. How do we sell this? Not when I say sell. I sound so bad. How do we communicate? Okay. The idea of yeah, we can resolve this issue. It may not there. There'll be holes. You can always find a hole in right. anything we've established. But let's give us a, let's give a launching point. But there are ideas that mm -hmm. libertarians have. How do we deliver that to non-libertarians? And I wanted to ask you specifically because you are going to be seeking to get non-libertarians to support I you. Absolutely, we'll have to have non-libertarians. You know? Okay, so with this one here, see, I like the idea of things that are presented. We go, okay, well, wait a minute. Can we designate? Because here's the thing is. Get rid of the playground equipment. You're probably not going to bring your kids there. Right. Like that's the natural draw. Like the one down the street from my house has playground equipment. Right. So naturally the kids tend to yep. go to that one in a yep. pavilion. It's very family friendly. It's yeah. along a river. It's yep. nice. Okay. So what if you say, hey, listen, in these parks, we're, we are no, nobody's going to come here if there's no playground equipment. If there's no, it's just a bench and you're not going to bring your kids. It's not going to be family conducive. Right. So do we look at that and go, okay, well, here's an option. Then. Do we say, and I hate that. Okay. Did we make this a homeless friendly park? Right. Then, okay. Like, if you need to be around here because you ain't got no place, you go to this location. It's right. kind of like the idea we some you go to this shelter. You don't just right. stay out here. So, do we have this option where we say, okay, listen, these are kid friendly parks, and maybe we post signs. Right. Hey, you know what? Please, you know, for whatever your purpose right. is, there's over there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now, this has to be walk through. You know what I'm saying? There's kind of okay. Well, what would work? What doesn't right. work? Which park becomes? Right. And I think we can have that conversation. Right. But if you think about that. All that's doing is going back to the idea again. Do we have property that we say, hey, here's where the homeless right. can go and do what the homeless do. Now, at this point right here, however we feel about drug use and stuff like that, it's still unlawful. Right. So I think we still have to kind of hold that to be the law in those places. You, you can't just because it's an area where you guys are safe to be doesn't mean you get to violate you know, communal law in the sense that you don't get to shoot up. You don't get to harm. Like you can't do that still. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, right. I, I think that we always go too far in this argument. Well, they're not smart. There's going to be shooting up everywhere and everything. Well, okay, maybe. So maybe we prevent that. We go, guys, still can't do this here. Okay. So how do we, so when, when somebody inevitably will, Okay. There's always somebody that pushes the limit and says, well, I'll do what I want. Do what I want. Right? Okay. They're probably then, libertarian. What, what, what is the same? So what is our response today? Okay. We what? create a, we create a, a homeless park. Right. And we tell the homeless. So I got two questions. We tell okay. the homeless, okay, we don't want you to be at this playground because all the little kids are trying to come over here and play on the swings and slide down the slide. And you're in the way with your, you know, sneaky sleeping self. Okay. Hang, 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 we hang. want you to go over to the hobo. Can park. I add something to that for a second real quick? Yeah. Okay. Because the library is a perfect example. Any of the homes go to the library all the time. Yeah. They're in there all the time. They have one rule. You can't sleep. Okay. You cannot sleep in the library. You right. can do all these other things. And that's fine. So you could do something similar to that in that park. If you're here during the day, because there's, you know, you public park, they have a right to be there. So you say, okay, but listen, when you're here, you can't lay out on the beach. You can't lay across a bench and fall asleep. So, so, cause I was making this argument to a friend. I said, okay. well, what if we, um, and this is, I'm not going to pull this up, but it was, right. it was on Facebook. And I would say, Hey, what if we, um, what if we determine based on the, in, in the, the intent of the area, mm -hmm. right? Like we've got this park, we put up a bunch of playground equipment. It's all kid friendly. You know, it's colored in bright colors. Yeah. It's designed for, you know, toddlers and, you know, yep. maybe, maybe, maybe some, um, what's, what's after a toddler? Um, kid, I, I guess, kid, yeah. <laughs> you know, adolescent, whatever it, it, it's, it's, it's for, you know, toddler to adolescent. I don't know why I haven't got there yet. I'm, I'm, I'm on toddler right now. I, I don't know. Yet. I just call him a kid. They, they, you know, okay, it's a five-year-old so, kid. So we go from toddler to kid, right? <laughs> okay. And, and everything's designed and it's at their size and all that yeah. good stuff. Right. And so we say, look, this is meant for kids to play on. Mm -hmm. If you're doing something other than that then we're going to ask you to leave. Okay. And then when they don't leave, then what? What happens if they if they don't leave other places? Right. The, the, you physically get removed by the police. Okay. So 
you're not necessarily in support of unleashing the police, as it sounds. No, 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 no. Because right? it sounded. Because let's be honest. I, I think it, the word unleash. Well, it just sounds very harsh and very kind of. Dude, it no, we actually very, that's exactly what we don't want the cops to be doing. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Because here's the thing. In, in, in all honesty, there is a difference between. Because there are times. How many times you just sit somewhere and start going, well, dang it. <laughs> all right. right. So I think that if you have a guy who's sitting out there and he's just kind of sitting there next to the river on a bench, not bothering anybody, just kind of starts just doing this a little bit, we would all do that. Right. So I don't think you call the cops and go, get him out of here. Because, right. No, no, no. Well, I think, some Karen would. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Okay. You're right. But I think that that's when we fall into the same thing. Like, all right, listen, who's he bothering? Is he is he right. really getting in the way of? Because at that point, he saw has a right to be there. Once again, if you're saying right. he can't fall, he can't nod off there, then you're telling me any of these other people who lay out a blanket. Right. Head down to Riverside. Nice park right. down there. They'll lay out on a blanket or whatever, and they'll fall asleep out there. Right. Oh, okay, so now we're going to go get them also? Right. So once we make that the standard that, yeah. oh, you can't do this, and you, then that uh, has to apply to everybody. Right. So that means even if you're not homeless, but you're hanging out in the park and you nod off because it's right. nice outside, guess what, dude? Cop's going to come get you. It's absurd. Right. So I, I think that what we have to do is we have to allow a certain level of here are the rules. Right. Now, unfortunately, we all know that even when you put in a rule, there's there's a gray area as much as right. it drives me crazy, but there's a gray area. Right. And you got to work within that gray area. Right. So, but we come back to the initial problem is do we just designate a park? Because that's what you were getting ready to say. That we make a park. Right. Really cool stuff for the kids. Right. Then what? And uh, so that we we do that. And then we um, uh, we we make a hobo park. Okay. So just got Are we going to call it that? Yeah. We're going to call it the hobo park. The hobo park. park. Sweet. And all it, all it has is benches. And places for newspapers, blankets, basically, right? Okay. And so, like, when you're done with your blanket, you put it back in the blanket stand. Okay. All right. It's, it looks like a newspaper stand, but it's really a blanket oh, stand. Oh, I thought you were joking about how they used, they used to... Oh, I am this. joking. Oh, okay. I am making a joke. Got it. I'm oh, trying to right. be funny. Got it. Why I'm not a stand-up comedian. Give, give me a little... All right, this is the I'm, funny part. I have well, to give you okay. a... Okay. <laughs> all right, funny part. Here we go. Hit the laugh track. Okay. <laughs> yes! <laughs> all right, so any, anyway... So, so then we have this, and we say... You can't be here under, you can only be here at this park under these conditions. You can be at this park under these conditions mm -hmm. and they're not necessarily the same conditions, right? So if you go to the, the children's park, you can't sleep on the slide. Right. If you go to the hobo park, you can sleep on the, um, on the bench. Mm -hmm. Neither park are you allowed to shoot up your heron. Right, right. Right. You have to do that somewhere else yep. behind the tree or Go something. behind the tree. Yep. Right. Um, and, and yes, libertarians, we understand that drug use, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> right. So we, we say that. But let's say that um, you have a hobo who's like, no, I, I like the, uh, unfortunately, there's no cover. In the, it's Jacksonville. There's a lot of sun. It's summer. Mm -hmm. So I right. like being over here at the child park um, because it's got some of the slides have um, sh have shelter for a little bit of respite. So Tough. they do it anyway. Tough. And then you got another hobo and they're over here. They're at the hobo, hobo park, park and they're shooting up the heron, right? Okay. And so then what is our answer? Do we have the police physically go and arrest them just grab them and take them somewhere else what, what do we do what, what, what I, I, your, I, okay I, I, so and i know that you're not giving me the no, absolute no, final answer no no because um, i bombarded you with this no i think it's fine it's removal i think okay dude you lost your rights it, it happens anywhere you go go to the library they catch you sleeping three times the third time they catch you sleeping dude you gotta go right okay same premise okay you you gotta right. you gotta get out of here right okay now here's the thing do have to be police no security guard Okay. Private security. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That, that's like, in fact, now a number of the libraries, um, they don't necessarily keep a police officer. They'll keep a security guard now just okay. for those type of things. You know, just okay. sometimes just having that person around is enough to kind of make people go, oh, I'm not going to mess with anything. Right. You know what I'm saying? So perhaps there it's not a level of police because you don't have to worry about police authority and they're not going to do anything. But it's security says, listen, dude, you got to go. So does it work? I've seen it does. Okay. This situation. See, here's the problem. We seem to think that if they're homeless, like they don't care about laws and they just they reckless and they no, not at all. Like not right. at all. Like like they are very clear. Like if you say, "Hey, dude, I want to bother with you," okay. Most of them, okay, never mind. Like we're not like I think we have these very bad stereotypes inside of our minds of okay. homeless people, and, and that's not the case. So anytime I've seen. The like in the library or wherever we happen to go, and the homeless are there, and they'll be like, "Hey, you got to go, or you can't do this." All right, they, they don't always like right. it, but off they go. Right, you know, gotcha. what I'm saying? I've never seen a time they've gotten physically violent with anybody. Right. All right, fine. This is the rule. So, I'm gonna so go. the times that we might need a stronger force mm -hmm. are extremely few. Right. Like I, there is, there has not been anything that I've seen in any of the homeless communities. Of, of a number of them that we deal with between the church and myself and just out and about or whatever, there's never been a time where I've seen or where there's a need for the police. 
Right. Like it just hasn't happened. Right. Um, one time, a few weeks back when my wife was out there, um, two of them got to an actual fist fight. Okay. Okay. Somebody, a third person called the cops like, oh, you know, they're fighting out there. And the cops came and took one away. Okay. okay? Um, but that would be normal. Of, if you and I started standing there and we started right. fighting, somebody's going to call the cops and they're going right. to call us away. Okay. So be it. Right. Now, the park right there by when my wife's work, there's a security guard out there all the time. Right. Okay. He's an armed security guard. He's hired up <clears throat> and he takes care of that stuff. Usually, if anything's going to, guys, right. you know, gotcha. and, and they tend to do it. So I think that if we had those places and then we said, hey, guys, if you go against these, he's going to run you out of here. Right. Are there a lot of false alarms? What do you mean? Uh, people saying, hey, this person over here is being a nuisance and they're really not. You know where you know where that tends to come from? From as White women. Yes. <laughs> yes. From the ones not in the community. The ones inside, the, I guess we're calling them the homeless community now. Right. The ones inside of, of, of that community, no. They, they, I'm telling you, they have a level of understanding. They gotcha. have a level of, they, they don't, it's crazy because they don't have some of the issues that we fuss about. Gotcha. They, they kind of, I, I don't want to say they self-police, but they self-police. Gotcha. The way it ought to be. Right. We, we would self-police each other. Like, dude, gotcha. you know, you're going to ruin it for all of us. Like, gotcha. how many times have you done that? You go somewhere, dude, knock it off. You're going like, to go right. to a bar. If somebody starts to act like, well, do knock it off. You're going to get us all right. thrown out of here. Right. You know, right. same premise. Gotcha. So I, I think that if we were to take this idea of child-friendly park, hobo okay. park. <laughs> right. Are you watching our time? Because Yeah, I'm keeping time. We're, okay. we're good. Okay. So We've got a you, couple minutes left. Okay. So if you do this children's park, hobo park. Which right. can't, we're just gonna, that's the term we're going to use it from now on. That's the name I want on the board. Hobo park? The yeah, hobo park. And, then, <laughs> and they can be designated. Hobo. Hey, dude, you got to go to the hobo park. Right. Here's the thing. I I feel confident in saying these homeless would be perfectly fine with that. Gotcha. I think it'd be perfectly fine. Gotcha. And, and then, you know, like I said, now here's the problem that did not help the homeless problem. You realize right. we right. did not solve the homeless problem. And All I, we did was move them. Yes. We, 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 we just we, shuffled. Well, yeah. We, we basically did, hey, the Super Bowl's coming to town. We got to get you out of this area. <laughs> right. That, that's what we did to them. But is that is that step one? Like, because now that you say, hey, listen, we got a place for you. Here's what right. we could do now. You're not so spread. You're kind of, we know an area for right. you. All right, now I know you. And now I know where you are. And I might see you each day. And I start going, hey, you know what? How, how do we help you? Like, I, And I, maybe that's where conversations start. Right. My wife has been able to help people, even get help get some of them off the right. streets because she knows them. Right. Because she's, those are the yep. ones she sees every day. She, you have yep. conversations with them. Um, we At our church, we've taken, truly, we've taken, I think, three that I could think of off the top of my head from the streets to sustaining jobs and houses and stuff along those right. lines by helping them through the process. Right. And, and so it can be done. Um, I, I think that once again, I often fall back to if the church would get back to being the church, it would solve a lot of these problems. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Because we'd be out doing the things that we ought right. to be doing. So I think that as a fix, we could look at that. We could look at, I think, was it was it Spike Cohen who said we can have... Okay. It might have been. So we can have this area that says, hey, this is designated. This is designated. Oh, did he say that? I don't remember let's if he go, said this specifically. Let's, let's say you did. Let's, let's um, give you the credit for that. I, I, yeah, sure. Okay. I, 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 can't, I don't know if he specifically but, made that particular comment that we need to have a designated area. I know somebody did. I've, I've seen, I've seen I, thought that. He, I thought that was one of his numbers. We don't have to worry um, about it now. But I think that was one of his things that we were like, hey, you know, there would be this designated area that we could buy out an area. Right. So how are, whoever's idea that was, I think that's something we can work with. But right. once again, though. It doesn't solve the problem. Right. And and I think that, that the solving the problem is going to be far bigger and further reaching than a simple, hey, let's just get them out of my area. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because unfortunately, there are times and events that things go on and people will go, I'm not going to go down to that area because there's the whole people are everywhere. And, right. You know, they're going to beg for me or whatever it happens to be. Right. And, and they don't want to deal with it. So unfortunately, things do get ruined. Right. Because of that. Right. I, I see you looking. Um, yeah, I'm looking it up. It doesn't really. Um, he said get rid of regulations that ban or make it unused. That. Government oh, land. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, Number nine. Okay. I thought that was on there in exchange for its own. Okay, yep, yep, yep. He did. Yep, you're right. And, and, and here's the thing. He's got a point there. Say, hey, listen, we're going to give you this area. You keep it clean. Right. You take care of this area. This is y'all's area. Y'all keep it clean. Keep it up. Bag up the trash. We'll come do, by as the city. Do, do they get to rename it as well? No, it's St. Hobo Park. Okay, okay. No, so that's, that's you can the homestead name. the property, not the name. Okay. All now, right. do, do, we, do we just homestead in the sense that now that they own it? I was, I was, when we say homestead, I don't think we want them to own it. I think we want them to squat. Right. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm assuming that he, well, he does say maybe even a purchase through upkeep program. So a rent to own, I guess. 
you know, your rent is your upkeep. And then you and can rent. Is, I, I get to keep my tent here right. for this time. But the thing right. is, I don't like the idea of saying, okay, now this, I've done enough work that this is mine. Right. I don't like that idea. Because right. now that's never getting them past the problem. And then how do you enforce that? He came into my property. Type right. Thing. Um, now, I believe, what, here's what I'm going to tell you again. Inside their community, they have this understanding. This is my space. This is your space. And they tend not to mess with that. Gotcha. So even if we don't have the answer now, what, right. we, what we can do is we can say, look, we can find property. And Jacksonville has plenty oh, of property. Most there's some do, right, right by where they are right now. There's property that we could say, look, this is going to be the your hobo park. Mm -hmm. This is where you get to go. Um, we might even throw in a few benches. But ultimately, privately funded, there would be organizations. Or privately funded. See, yeah, I don't want the government to do this. Fair enough. Let, Fair let, enough. let privately companies or okay. like my wife with the stuff she does, said, oh, yeah, we'll buy a bench or we'll buy a bench. That right. can easily be done. Oh, yeah, totally. Okay, so, even a shelter. So, so, we, so we privately fund getting some stuff, and there may be a, a, um, a pavilion. Yeah, a pavilion. Uh, a pavilion, maybe some benches, yep. um, you know, whatever else, you, you know, something. Yeah. And then just say, all right, this is your guys. Maybe you only you put a bathroom it in it. You keep it up. Since we since we pick up the trash ish around here, yeah, um, we'll send the trash to uh, the, you know the, you put the, out to the street. We'll come back. Like we'll, we always we'll do. come back, pick it up. So, but this is basically you know. And if y'all don't do this, Hobo City, right? That's no longer park. It's city. And and there's the thing: if y'all don't do this, Hobo Town, we will run you out. We'll call Hobo Town. Hobo Town. That's yeah. what, it has to grow to a certain extent before it gets out of park oh. too. Now, okay. and, and so I'm a visionary. Uh, yeah, you're going big with it. So, but I think if we tell them. If you don't, okay, you will be asked to leave. If you break the understood laws, you're going to be asked to leave. You right. cannot stay here anymore. Right. Okay. And then what makes it so that in all honesty, um, we're talking about security guards and police. Call the police only when absolutely necessary. Um, so if you need a security guard, why could that be privately funded also? Right. Because there are people who care about the homeless. Right. And they want their safety to be in place. And so there would be a, there would be plenty of people. I mean, it sounds contribute. like you've already contributed we to have. helping the we, homeless, we've done not that. only with your time, but possibly even your money. We have. And so you would be at least one example of somebody that might say, I will chip in X amount of dollars every month, every year, whatever, um, to help fund a security now, team we, or we, person or whatever. We hate taxes, obviously. Right. Um, but they're there. Right. And, and, and a little while back on my Facebook, I said, hey, if you could choose where you could put your tax money. Like not just we give it to them, they do whatever the heck they want with it. But if you had, I you had jars, you said I want to put it here. Right. You'd be surprised. Dave Ramsey's envelopes. envelopes. The government needs yep. Dave Ramsey's yes, envelopes. And, and like this is where this goes to. And, and people had a common answer. They want emergency vehicles. They want roads. So, but here's the thing: is you'd be surprised how many people you say, "Hey, listen," um, towards taking care of the homeless. You'd be surprised how many people when they're not getting squeezed everywhere else that they're willing to contribute to things like that hmm. that they're willing to give a few dollars towards it gotcha. so if you were to go around and say hey listen we're trying to build a hobo park right. okay and here's what they need and you explain to them here's what we're trying to do we're trying to get them out of the common areas of the city the ones who just because some of them they just go about work or they do their things during the day but some just lay around all day let's, right. let's not deny it so we're saying hey we want to give them a place that they can go it's their spot we're not right. condoning behavior we're not doing any of these type of things but we're saying hey here's our spot would you be willing to give to it You'd be surprised. Gotcha. And then not to mention any of these other people who go out, these people who do fundraisers, this is what they do. They could probably hit up a couple of big companies. Right. And say, hey, listen, we're trying to build this over. We'll put you a plaque out on the thing. Right. For Hobo Park. Here's your park. I like that name. I think I we're do. going with it. All right. All right. Well, yes, uh, any final words? No, I think I think we're good. I, I, I right. think I unfortunately like we didn't solve it. Well, but no, we came but up I think with some solutions. I I, I, I think in I think in uh, less than an hour we came up with a direction that I think is suitable for the libertarian community to present. And I think okay. we could present this to the non-libertarian world. And I don't think, and I think it's, it. I think they'd accept it. I think it, I, I think they would accept it. Mm -hmm. And I think it positions libertarians to have future conversations about more private uh, options in the future. Like it doesn't restrict us. It doesn't can, put can, us on can, the hook. Can I, can I add something real quick? Yeah. Okay. So think about this. I bet there's probably some land somewhere that somebody's willing to write off and say, hey, listen, I will donate this land, give me oh, the tax yeah. credit. I'll donate this land for that position for yeah. those people. I bet that would work. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, I think this is a real. I, I think it's a relatively good answer on short notice, right? Because that's the idea. And I think, I think one of the things, just to wrap it up, I think we have to be very comfortable as libertarians in offering ideas that may not be to the hilt libertarian, right? Mm -hmm. Because unfortunately, we still have to con we have to convince the rest of our neighbors to go along with it. Right. So we can either spend time trying to convince them that privatization full on is the way to go, or we can say, you know what, 
let's deal with this particular problem and set ourselves in a position so that we can have that conversation again mm -hmm. in the future. So there you have it, folks. We have solved the homeless problem. Indeed. Um, and once you elect this man here in Jacksonville, once you elect him to at-large five, once you elect him, he is going to start talking about that with the power of government to do something about it. Not just yip yapping on some little guy, literally. <laughs> That's some, some a little, little true little guy. Not yip yapping and just talking about it, but actually do something about it. And by the way, since we're talking about doing something about it, make sure that you get out there and actually help people, help real people. Don't just argue about it. But with that, um, we're going to close out and have a good one. Thank you for being here. That's all for this episode. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to hit that subscribe yeah. button and connect with me at Liberty Dad on Facebook, Liberty Dad Pod on Twitter, or send me an email to LibertyDadPodcast at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. To catch Liberty Dad episodes when they air, head over to Facebook.com forward slash free speech media, where the weekly episode airs Monday night at 8 p.m. And while you're there, be sure to check out the other free speech media shows. Prefer an audio format? Then head on over to LibertyDad.com or just search for Liberty Dad, all one word, on your favorite podcast app. Remember, if you're a champion of liberty, your business is people, and your product is liberty. Have a great week. Catch you next time, and I'm out.